Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on March 6th, 2022. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet. Welcome to the Daily Do, where we look at space weather, world weather, earthquakes, and volcanoes. Looking at the last 48 hours of imagery on our sun today. Small B-class solar flare, late images as well, large plasma filament whipping away from the northwestern limb. Looking at the last 48 hours incoming, cresting sunspot regions. And as well on the right-hand side there, showing that large plasma filament. And some erecting on the southern hemisphere as well, looking at outgoing Small flash there, that was the B-class solar flare. Another quick look at the cresting imagery, and as well that large plasma rope dancing around the northwestern parts of our sun. Opposite direction, there was a plasma filament that ejected just ahead of the CME and B-class solar flare. So active sun, to say the least. Right now we are currently... Under coronal hole windstream conditions, that brought our KP index up to 6 overnight last night. Looking at multi-spectrum here of all the events, and as well 171 angstroms here, showing the darker regions being the coronal holes. So we have no earth-facing nor incoming coronal holes right now. Looking at Lasco 2 imagery. This is brought to you by Solar Dynamics Observatory. Looking at a crossover of Mercury there in the back. Looking at ISWA Space Prediction Spiral. Not much has changed since yesterday's models. Still expecting solar X-ray flux to increase for the 9th. As you can see here, KP index was up to 6 and flare class range remains in lower upper B to lower C. So KP index of six, and we can expect some space weather to be showing in our skies, in the northern skies tonight. Big probability of northern lights possible from the United States border over Wisconsin northward. I want to thank everybody for tuning in today. I hope you've all had a great day and as well are staying safe and healthy and in love. Looking at a real-time solar wind sitting now at about 500 kilometers per second after being up to just over 600 kilometers per second. 598 reported here, but yesterday we were up there. Schumann residence for today power of 49 42 49 big healthy influx of energy here i believe we can thank the coronal hole wind stream and the small b class solar flare amplitude of 49 quality of 8.6 power 29 let's give a rundown on earthquakes across the world as we start out with a pretty sizable 5.5 earthquake here in oxaco mexico 97 kilometer depth North American plate, pretty quiet today. Most of these earthquakes were from yesterday. 2.7 there, White City as well. 2.7, Petrolia, California. The geysers, 2.7. Notable 4.8 earthquake here in Inuvik, Canada. Lots of activity heading through Alaska this tonight and last night. 3.9 reported there and all along the Aleutian Islands. Minor activity. Only one lonely 2.7 to report here, Pahala Highway, Hawaii. A quick look at the caldera and its activity. A couple pools, definitely active in the summit. Carry on with earthquakes here. Tonga region, two 5.0 earthquakes there to report as well. 5.1 here, deepest earthquake the last 24 hours, 275 kilometer depth. New Zealand, 4.5, and as well Australia here, Mount Barker, Australia, 10-kilometer depth, 
southeastern parts. Philippines, pretty active today as well. 4.2, ranging up to 4.8. And northern Indonesia, 5.5 there today in the into the Banda Sea. Or sorry, the Indian Ocean. As well, 4.7 North Atlantic Ridge. And here's our largest earthquake today. South Sandwich Islands, 6.0 earthquake. But Argentina saw a pretty sizable 5.5 here, 118 kilometer depth. Minor activity, fours moving up northwards towards Peru. And pretty quiet through the Caribbean plate. Have a quick look at the last seven days for rumblers across the world. I'm surprised we're not seeing more earthquakes being reported. Western parts of Russia, Eastern Europe. A quick browse around the world the last seven days for earthquakes. Again, everybody just have a plan. Hashtag no fear here. That's what this is all about because sometimes we can't warn to a very large earthquake. Let's have a look at the Pacific Disaster Center showing the most recent satellite imagery and as well tornado alerts. Memphis, Tennessee, we've got some strong storms moving through the central United States, moving northeastward. Memphis right now, as well Little Rock, Arkansas. Boy, oh boy, F3 tornado touchdown last night in Iowa. Most recent volcanoes, Simeru, Indonesia, Sangay, and Ecuador. Swiss and Ajima, Japan, Reventador in Ecuador, Fuego, Guatemala. Look at all these tornado alerts. Oklahoma, Missouri, Popo in Mexico, Sabancaya, Peru, Languila, Papua New Guinea. So that's about eight volcanoes getting updated today. The big story here is all of this extreme weather breaking through the central United States. Again, moving northeastward. And that will be affecting southeastern parts over the next couple days as it moves eastward. So tornado warnings yet again tonight, even after last night, an EF3 tornado touchdown in Iowa. Thoughts and prayers going out to everybody affected by these nasty storms that were forecasted here with daily events worldwide. Days ahead of time, just saying. Having a quick look around the world. Pretty large systems, West and North Pacific. No tropical cyclones named right now, and none really in the forecast except for a pretty tightly whipped low pressure system heading into Madagascar. Stormy conditions, flood conditions through Java in Indonesia. Pretty big low pressure center heading through Eastern Europe as well. Extreme cold conditions, parts of Spain. Now I wanted to show you here the last 24 hours of imagery of that very fast moving system. Low pressure center that moved through last night, dropped an EF3 tornado in Iowa. That long strip of moisture, it looked like a Derrico ripped right along the cold front boundary line there and those storms are just kicking up now over Iowa yet again so again thoughts and prayers going out to everybody affected by that nasty tornado that touched down you know the, I don't think the tornado season ended so we can't even say they're late or they're early Let's get to the five-day forecast here, looking at the, this big system scheduled for Monday into Tuesday, heading into Ontario. It's going to quickly move through tomorrow. Rain in the morning and snow on the backside, freezing rain along in between. As well, we've got snowy conditions moving into Alberta and cold conditions. BC coastline as well, high pressure ridge. Blizzard-like conditions through Manitoba for Tuesday into Wednesday. Pretty big snowstorm heading through there. 
into northern Ontario and then into Quebec. Watch for intense system here through southeastern United States as well, all along the coastline the next couple days. Overlooking South America, no major changes since last, last update. Daily evaporation rains could be strong towards Argentina, Buenos Aires. Also watching a pretty long line of moisture stretching through the equator here, heading into Venezuela, Brazil. So watch for coastal flooding conditions through South America and northern parts. Overlooking Europe, low pressure center heading into Ireland Tuesday into Wednesday. And there's a lot of moisture behind that. And it's just going to follow through here. Ireland into the United Kingdom. Overlooking Russia. And Southeast Asia. No major weather systems forecasted the next few days. Watching here, this intense low pressure system affect parts of northern Madagascar starting tomorrow. Now watch for that to race across over the next couple days and then heading over into Africa. Overlooking Indonesia, Malaysia. Again, no major storms to talk about. Stormy conditions have since moved out of southeastern Australia, but watch for lingering thunderstorms, coastal regions, North Brisbane, up into Queensland. Can to leave you here. Taking a quick look at the northern hemisphere right now as we are getting ready to transition into spring. Spring equinox is right around the corner. As well, pointing out one of the major systems that will be playing out across the Northern Hemisphere is going to be heading into Western Europe. Having a look here at the windy models for the next seven days, watch this to be ramping up next Wednesday into Thursday. Long range forecast looks very gusty for Ireland, the United Kingdom, and up into Norway. So big stormy conditions moving in. And we can thank the splitting of the polar vortex for that. Having a look here, Null School, upper level winds, 10,000 feet. Much love to everybody. Thanks for watching today. This has been Mike with The Daily Do. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your daily do. Bye-bye now. today's video please hit that like button subscribe share with your friends and family from across the world